Hollywood Jackson here for Studio 863. Today, I'm going to show you how to install custom presets in your IK Multimedia software. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to install custom presets from the IK Multimedia Product Manager. Now, if you've purchased the Amplitude 4 and 5, the Mix Box, or the T-Rex 5, you'll notice that there's a drop down that says presets. Now these presets are custom made by some of the finest people in the industry. And so if you want to be like the pros and sound like the pros, you got to use what the pros are using. And so these are presets that were custom made by these people and they actually use them. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to go download these and they're going to come in a zip file and I'm going to show you how to set that up and how to make them work. All right, so this, it's real simple. All you gotta do is click on the presets, click on your download button, and it's gonna open an Explorer window. It's gonna install them in the product manager folder. So what you're gonna do is go to documents, IK Multimedia, and you're gonna go to your IK product manager. You're gonna open that up. Now here's all your folders. Now when you download these things, it's going to store them in zip files. And so you will have to unzip these files. It's pretty simple. You just uh, right click on it, click extract all. And so you have to do this for each one of them. Now I already have these installed, but I'm just doing this so that y'all can see what's happening. Because I didn't know how to do it. There weren't any instructions for it um, until you extract the folder and download them now what you're going to do next is you're going to go you're going to copy these folders that you unzipped just right click on them hit copy now you're going to go back to your ik multimedia folder now these went in the amplitude 4 now you're going to open up that folder you're going to go to presets and you'll see that i've already got these installed and you just uh right click hit paste and it's gonna go ahead and paste those in there and so now there's your folders ready to go and that's all there is to it all right so you just basically do the same thing again we're gonna go to the amplitude 5 after we download all of those it will download those into the IK product manager and you just go through and click on them hit extract all and it's going to create folders for each set of presets that it has and so after it creates that folder it'll drop it down at the bottom so you just go through and do the same thing for each one of those and also keep in mind, if you're like me, I have multiple computers that this is on. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to manually do this all over again. Um, that's one of the things I don't like about it. And uh, generally what I'll do is I will just, when I'm through putting these in the studio computer, I will copy the entire IK product manager folder. But if you just copy that folder and then bring it into your preset folder um in your other computers then you've got everything that you've saved is going to be in there there's quite a few plugins that i like to use from the mix box that are super duper um, especially with vocals um, and that's one of the main things i use them for so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy all of these right click hit copy and you're going to go back to your ik multimedia folder and this was for Amplitude 5, was it not? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's for the Amplitude 5. So what you'll do is you'll go back to the Amplitude 5 folder. You'll go to Presets. And you'll right-click and hit Paste. And it will paste all of those in there for you. And so now, all of those presets for each one of these individuals has now been installed. So when you go over to your amplitude 5 software it's going to be in those presets um, i believe you can also install those same presets into the amplitude 4 software as well um, i'm not sure but i'm going to do it anyways how about that i'm just going to do it just for shits and giggles yeah and there we go so hopefully that'll be in both the amplitude 
4 and 5 because I have the full package on both. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what it does. And so that's pretty much it. Um, you just go to the IK product manager folder and pick your software that you want to uh, install. I'm going to go to the T-Rack. Um, yeah. Because I like to use some of these presets. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and install all these today while I'm busy doing this with you guys. So I'm going to move this over here so that you can see what's happening. All right, and so this is for the T-Rex 5. Now, each one of these has an application you have to run. So just go ahead and run the application. And it's going to come up and tell you, um, yeah, we're going to install it anyways. So it's going to automatically install it where it needs to go. And you just hit Next and Accept. And it'll automatically install those. Now, that's the only difference um, with these in the T-Rack 5. Um, you have to, it's an actual application, so you're going to have to let it run the app. Um, and it's no big deal. Um, takes a few seconds, as you can see. And you just hit accept. And you move on. Yeah, it's just installing these in the T-Rack. So. And I'm just going to go down through each folder and hit the application. Open it up, and Windows is going to say "Don't run," but we know where this where this came from, so it's no big deal. Okay, well, it's not wanting to run that one. All right, we're going to run it anyways, and it's going to come back with the accept. All right. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the Ross Hogarth. I'm going to click install. It's going to say don't run. And we're going to run anyways. And I'm going to show you where this is in the T-Rack when we get finished. And so that's all for the T-Racks. And so now I'm going to open up the T-Rex so that we can see where these are. Um, and we're just going to verify that it, that it actually installed these. So we're waiting on the T-Rex to open up. All right, and here we go. Okay, so wait a second. Move this out of the way. All right, and so we're going to go over here. And we'll scroll down. We'll go to the legacy, I think is where it installed those. Ah, here we go. Engine they're gonna be in the engineer series. And so there you are. You have all of your you have Dave Way. Here's all of your new installs. So that's really all you gotta do for the T-Rex. And I believe the mix box is going to be the same way. So with the Amplitube, you actually have to physically install the folders into their proper places. And so with the T-Rex 5, you don't have to do that. So we're going to close this out. Now, we're going to go back to the IK Multimedia Product Manager folder. And we're going to do the same for the mix box. All right. And so I'm going to open this up all the way we're going to do the same for the mix box here so we're going to extract just like we did the other ones I don't know why this is over there but this way I can kind of show you the process and it's going to open another folder and you just close that out and I'm pretty sure these are already installed but I'm just going to reinstall them just for you guys
And so these are going to be the same. You just install the uh, presets. And you're going to put them in the folders that correspond with them. All right, so... And this is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I wish that IK Multimedia would do something a little better um, to kind of implement this into where it just installs them for you. But you have to install these things manually. Um, and that's just the way it is for now. I have We've run into a lot of problems with IK Multimedia. The software is great. Um, there's just a few issues here and there. Of course, you know, that's to be expected. But you're getting top of the line equipment. You're getting top of the line gear. Um, you're getting top of the line presets from n well known engineers and producers. And so this gives you an opportunity to use the same plugins that they're using and to maybe use those on your guitars or your bass or your vocals. And uh, I've found quite a few over the last couple of months that I really, really like. So this will help you out in that in that regard. So if you're looking for something quick, just kind of a quick plug and play plugins, this is definitely the way to go. And I would advise anyone using the Mixbox, the T-Rex, or the Amplitude 4 and 5 um, to download these presets because these presets come from Joe Satriani slash. They've actually used this equipment. They save these presets. And this just gives you a way to use what the pros are using. And that's why I dig it. All right, so we've got all these taken care of. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy. We're going to right click. We're going to copy those. Now we're going to go back. And we're going to go to, what was this? This was the mix box, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was the mix box. All right, so now we're going to go back to the mix box. We're going to go back to the IK Multimedia folder. I'm going to pick up mix box. We're going to go to Rack Presets, and as you can see, there's the John Podiker. Um, is that how you say that? John Podiker, I think, is it Mark Lynette? Yeah. So we'll just right-click, we'll hit Paste, and it's going to install these right there for you. So what we're going to do now is we're actually using the mix box. Um, so we may have to close it and reopen it. Not sure here. So let's uh, let's expand this. And now, see, there's there's our folders right there. And so they each have a bunch of different. Um, you've pretty much got everything. I don't know why that's showing up, but. Okay, there's some more presets. So yeah, I mean, you get a whole lot of presets to use. So let's try one. All right, so see, there's uh, some custom vocal patches. And here we go. Let's try another one. And so it just gives you an opportunity to see what what other engineers are using. And uh, I think it's really cool because, like, you know, I mean, you can tell the difference in what's going on. And the mix box is excellent, uh, especially if you're using, like, a chain plug-in. If you're looking for a vocal chain or a guitar chain, um, it's the best thing out there. And, of course, I have my own presets as well. Um, that I'm using, but I like to use some of the producer presets um, because as you can see, they're quick, they're easy, they're already preset. You don't really have to tinker with them a whole lot. And that's what I like when I'm in the studio and I'm working on something. I don't want to have to sit and fiddle and fuck with a bunch of 
different equipment to try to get the sound I'm getting. There's stuff out there that's in these presets. You can just kind of go down the list and you can click through it while it's playing so you can hear exactly what it sounds like. All right, so that pretty much does it. And like I said, this goes for the mix box, the T-Rex 5. You're going to have to open the apps up. And uh, when you get to the Amplitude 4 and 5, it's basically the same thing. Um, you're just going to drop those in into the proper folder. And um, when you open up when you open up that software again, your presets are going to be right there. So I hope I was able to help you guys out. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm Hollywood Jackson for Studio 863. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, go ahead and click on that like button. And while you're at it, reach over and hit that subscribe button too. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below or just send us an email. I'm Hollywood Jackson for Studio A63. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share those links. And just press on the bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications on the latest music and videos from Studio 863.